Hello, my name is Alyssa Burton and I am a 2019 senior in the Limburg Research Program and today I'm going to be showing you a little about the Youth Risk Behavior Surveillance System which is a really helpful resource if you want to do a social science project and research and you want publicly available data for really big numbers. You can find the data for throughout the United States, also within states, within districts. It gets really specific or you can have it broad and also there's data from 1991, 2017, and 2003 to 2015 from ages 13 to 17. So you can get a lot of data pretty easily. And also, um, if you want to record your data over time, there's a lot of helpful ways that I'll show you how to do that. And I use this for my project that I entered into Regeneron and went to competitions with. So. It's a really good way if you don't want to do like a project in a lab and you want to do a data mining project relating to student behaviors, this is a really good database. So you start out here with the Youth Risk Behavior Surveillance System in the, for the, from the Center for Disease Control and you can go and look at all of your different health topics because they're all based on student health. And so I'll show you one in Unintentional Injuries and Violence. So if you go here and you press on your health topic, then it gives you all of the different um, attributes of that health topic that you can study. So there's like a lot of them for every health topic and you can choose whichever one you're interested in. So you can see all of them. Um, I'll give you one that I used in my project, which was carrying a weapon on school property, just to give you an example of how to use the database. So once you're here, you find yourself in the table generator, which is really how you're going to be able to find your raw data for your project if you want to use the YRBS. So you start off with your question, which I'll show you here. Like There really are so many questions that you can do. So if you want to do a social science project, I'm sure that you can find something in here that you'll be really interested in. And a lot of the topics are really relevant and really easy to work with. So if unintentional injuries and violence, you can see there's driving data, weapons, um, there's bullying, violence, suicide, and then there's tobacco use, which is like, uh, I lost it. Tobacco use, which has like cigarettes and vaping, which is really relevant, and cigars, like really anything that you could want to study. Uh, and if you go down to Alcohol and drugs it has like every drug, every different thing that you could look at. There are sexual behaviors, dietary behaviors, physical activity, obesity, and even like other health topics that aren't even contained in that. So I'm just going to show you one of them weapon carrying at school. And for locations, you can also do the whole United States. You can do um, look at a specific state. So let's say we want to look at California. And you can also if you want, look at local local areas, territories, or other populations. So if we want to look at California, then we go to the drop-down menu for years. It'll either have a bunch of years, and there might only be one year, and sometimes there'll only there will be no years, which just means that they don't have the data for that specific year for the location that you selected. And so if you want to do look over time, you should probably stick to the ones that have like a good amount of the, a good amount of available years. So as you can see, like there's only two years available for weapon carrying at school in California. Um, so I'm just going to go with 2015 just to show you what the table looks like. To press go. Then if you go down, this is what your, ta your table will look like. And all of the data in um, the Youth Risk Behavior sy Surveillance System is in percentages. And it's all self-reported, so that's actually going to be probably one of the biggest limitations in your project is that the data is self-reported from um, district and administration and students. So that's always a limitation you have to look out for, but the numbers are really big. So your data is going to be good enough to analyze, probably. And so here's just what you'll see, um, carrying a weapon on school property. And it's important to look in the parentheses whenever you have a table because it'll give you the specifics of your actual attributes, so you should really know what's going on. And this is at least one day during the 30 days before the survey. Sometimes it'll be a year, so you just have to keep an eye out for that. And you can see your data here. And also it gives you a lot of different ways to change your 
um, data that you're given. So you can change with column variables by sex, race, grade, or sexual orientation. And you can do the same variables on the rows also to make your table look like whatever you want. Then there's also the display options, which you can change the question direction, the decimal place, the variance. It gives you automatically a 95% confidence interval, but you can change that. And you can have a display cell size or not. And then you can also filter the data um, using this area on the left, which means that you can just filter it for if you want to look at a specific race and how it affects it affects your um, variable. You can also look at grades if you want to look at age or sexual orientation, which is, could be really interesting. And then I'll go to another state so there's a little more um, data to show you this. Yeah, like so you see here Alabama, like there are a bunch of states from 1990, a bunch of years from 1991 all the way to 2015. So I'm going to go to all years just to show you what it looks like. And you see that you get all of the data for all of these years. And automatically it separates it female, male. You don't have to keep it like that. You can change that easily by changing your um, row variable to totals only. And then also you can look at two locations at the same time if you're comparing location. And you can look at two years for one location if you want to see how a certain location changes over time. And then you can also look at a graph instead of a table just to see your data another way and it'll give you a graph like this and you can also change variables there and it's just interesting to see it it's very clear and so what i did for my project using the yrbs was i did a project to look at um school counselors as a potential deterrent from school violence in the united states so i used five measures of unintentional injuries and violence on the YRBS. I used weapon carrying at school, being threatened or injured at school, um, physical fighting at school, being bullied at school, or not going to school because one does not feel safe. And I did that in all 50 states, and I did it from the years 2005, 2015, every other year because the YRBS is only administered every other year. So I'll show you what my data looked like. Here is Nationwide. Here's what the raw data looked like as I collected it throughout every state. Sorry, the Alabama. And I just compared, I got the student counselor ratios from another database, and then I had all of my variables and their percentages. And I did that. And then once I had all of that, I selected certain states, so I ended up with a six state sample. And then I also consolidated all of my violence data into. Um, a cumulative violence score, what I call the CVS, and I did this by um, using a multiplier from the most violent to the least violent attribute. So I would, I multiplied all of um, the most violent to, um, attribute by um, 1.75, the second by 1.5, the third by 1.25, and then the least violent one was just at one, and then I added up all of those scores. So if you want to do something like that, to make your data easier to work with if you're working with multiple variables, and that's also a possibility. Um, here is my paper that I submitted to Regenera, and I'll show you what I ended up doing for my analysis with this data. I created, here's a, just the example of another table that I created. I made with my six state sample, I separated them by year, then the student to counselor ratios for that year, the cumulative violence scores for that year, and then I also use socioeconomic status in my project, which is also really interesting to look at if you're looking at student behaviors that vary by state, because it's always has some sort of correlation. And then I created these scatter plots of all of my variables over time, because I really wanted to look at it over time. And I just recorded the slopes, and then I compared the slopes to get my data. Um, so yeah, that's just how I was able to use the YRBS in my project. Um, I hope that you learned something about uh, the Youth Risk Behavior Surveillance System, and you can try to think of a good social science project to do with it. Um, thanks. And good luck with your project.